my question is related to the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and they're currently in a, a holding pattern on releasing very important guidance to the CBD industry on what we should be doing and how can we have access to banks and so forth. So their regulation is really holding everything up. And they've approved one product already, and it's a, it's an FDA-approved drug for seizures. It's called Epidiolex. And that's the only pathway, only product that the FDA has actually approved. So my question for you is, is there going to be a legitimate pathway approved by the FDA where we can release our CBD products? Okay, that's a good question. Is that a good question? Uh, yeah, it's a good one. Good. I'm going to shuffle the cards. I'm, I'm basically shuffling in your, your question. So I connect my guide that I connect to. Some people consider themselves having specific guides that uh, help them with the tarot reading. I actually connect to the higher universe, guided by universal knowing. There's a lot of ways you could say that, but higher yeah. knowing. Then I place the card piled down, and I'm going to cut it three times with my left hand and with your question in mind. And then I stack them up. So I just let my hand, I let my left hand. The reason we use our left hand is because it's your more intuitive. It connects you to your intuition. The right hand is more your ego brain, and we don't want to talk to your ego brain right now. Yeah, get out of the way. Your higher self and your intuitive knowing and then universal knowings chiming in. So we're going to answer that question with those knowings. And the cards are just tools to help me understand how to answer it. Okay? Great. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's on hold. And because of government, exactly like you said, we got the, uh, the emperor, which is government, and the hanged man, which is an on hold card. Okay, so that's... Mm. Uh, pretty much what you said. You said everything was on hold because of right. regulation, right? right. Uh, we've got the sun in the background, which is giving a real nod towards the product. So the sun is one of the best cards in the deck. It never goes bad. It's like most cards can be read good or bad, varying degrees, but the sun is always really positive. So what we're asking about is something that is a good, positive product. So that's good to know. Very good. Okay. Really good to know. And we've got this five of pentacles. So five of pentacles says we've got hold up and hiccups and boundaries, but it's only a minor arcana card. So there's two groups of cards in a tarot. There's 78 cards in a deck. There's minor and major arcanas. There's a lot more minor arcanas and they're changeable. If this was a major arcana card in between in your question, the problem would be the universe is saying no to the situation. It's karmically not going to happen or it's destined not to happen. But because it's a minor arcana, it says there's hold up, but they're minor and they can be got through. So there's changes coming. So let's have a look at when and when you can expect them. Okay. Great. If, even in the next eight months, you could see your situation improving greatly. Woohoo. Mm. There's all kinds of things. That's the Eight of Pentacles card. So there's all kinds of things and people working on the behalf in the background. See how this guy's working really hard on something? Pentacles are physical manifestation. So they're the element of earth in the tarot. Swords are thoughts and words. Cups in the tarot are emotions. Wands are energy, like uh, spiritual and or sexual energy and or creative energy. But pentacles is what you want in a question like that as the outcome, a positive pentacle card, which means it'll physically manifest. So I'm giving it about eight months. Mm. All right. All right. Wow, that's pretty specific. Very specific.